the Page train station. We are heading on the Vonats, on the train, out to the Winelands. Ho, 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 ho. This is going to be a fantastic afternoon. Couldn't have asked for better weather. Baranya Medje, Page. Oh, Elnay says, Fortunat. Imadom. On route to the Winelands. Close a second. Don't want to leave me on the train. <laughs> Our chariot awaits. It's rent bike Vilan, Allegio Bicicli, hey. Baranya Medjen. Tala Majorosagon. Here are the iconic old pincers. A pincer in Hungary is, of course, a wine cellar. And Vilan is home to countless, countless wine cellars. The city is just dusting off its morning cobwebs. We can see some of the neighboring towns, Harkan, Siklos, of course, Pech. So we're here at the Naj Harshanyi Sobor Park, the statue park in the Nemzeti Duna Drava Park, the Duna Drava National Park. The symposium here at the Naj Harshanyi Sobor Park is really a collection of artwork that complements the Vilan wine region so majestically. And we can see down onto the statue park where artistic talents and minds meet and reflect and circulate ideas. Well, that is all for now from this little section of the Duna Drava Nemzeti Park. See you later, Sobor. Sobor ok nem Sobrok. Sobrok. Siastok Sobrok. This is very interesting here at the foot of the Sar Shomyo Hedge, the Sar Shomyo Hill, we have this memorial. Now the Sar Shomyo Hill throughout history has also been known as the Harshan Hill, the Naj Harshan Hill. That was the Naj Harshan Statue Park. And there was a battle at the Harshan Hill in 1687. Of course, everybody knows about the famous Battle of Mohach, the Mohachi Chata, 1526. But 150 years later, after that complete catastrophe, a key battle happened right here, just down the street from Nohach, at the Harshan Hill. And this memorial commemorates that victory. Oh, look at the little bee doing the humble work of pollination here outside of Sauska 48? But Shauska 48. Shauska Nejven Yotz. During the building. And uh, at the end, uh, uh, as, uh, we've got here a blend between a ferment, a Chardonnay, and a dash of Pinot Noir for the coloring. Grown in Tokai, aged in Budafok, and enjoyed in Vilan. Ah, Vilan on a Saturday in May. All right, let's go explore. The Urdug Arok, the Devil's Ditch. Magnifico. Magnifico. Okay, four hectares, Magnifico. Look at these views. And this is all the Urdug Arok. This is it, this is the Devil's So this is the Yamer Tadulu. And uh, Yamer is a German word that means cry or shirok. And they say that after the Turks left, after the Harshan Yichata in Ezer Hatsas, Yotzman Hait, well, they were crying a little bit, and thus the name was taken, or rather was given. So here we have the original house in 1981 when Bak Yozhev, Yozhi Bachi, when his father passed away, he was given this vineyard and it was only half a hectare, which is basically nothing. And from that half hectare, the Bak story. Where is he taking us? We shall soon find out. Wow, look at this. Oh, so old. That was the first book. It's the top blending for Mr. Bogdan. That was the first 
QV90, uh, 91. Oh, dope. Én 1992 születem. Aha. He's opening up a bottle from 99. 21 éves. 24 years old. Wow. 92, 92, that's my year. Uh -huh. This European Cooper's right here. A Cooper, a Cooper is somebody that makes a barrel. That's called a Cooper. And these European Coopers, it's a Hungarian brand, the Truss. And they make barrels that are exported all around the world. Harkan, yo for do. All right, this thing right here is called the Lopo. It's like the wine thief. And we're gonna steal some of the Magnifico. It is the top Merlot. He stole a lot. It's the Infinity Pinza. Sasmeter. Sasmeter. Oh. This is sort of like a... Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the middle of like a witch's coven or a Illuminati lodge meeting, but... I just want to say one thing. Fekete pika pata kopaka patika pepite kuben. It's a huge record. Oh, wow. Majon Regi. Ita to me look. As a fruit gate. <laughs> Yo, wait, fight, yes. Ooh, the robe gosh. Banati Bajaroja. Look at this. It's like a wedding dress. Gratulalok, Mindinki. Gratulalok. All right, we are heading to Vilan Kuvest. Vilan Kuvest. Alkonya and Vilan Kuvest. And we approach now the town of Vilan Kuvest. Hello. Najon Yunyuru Falu. Gratulalok. Mori. Mori. And Willy Vajok. Willy, Vilmos. Minta Vilmos Kurte. Yeah. Esha Felishegen Major. Uteves Elta Majorosagon. Esh Mosta Serenek Aluadni. Uh, New York uh, emberek uh, az a legjönyörűbb helyek a uh, Magyarországon mm -hmm. és azt hiszem az a, ez a hely tényleg egyik a legjönyörűbb hely Nagyon uh, örülök Szép napot What a unique place Pinza after pinza after pinza after pinza I think we're gonna head up now to the top row We enter the top row, you can see the glittering maypole over in that direction. So blessed by nature. Oh, just tremendous. Okay, so we can see here the roofs of the Pince, the Pinsake. A very old, ancient, ancient cellar network beneath the hills here. We can see the V-line head shake off into the distance. Uh, we're heading to the uh, Blom Borzo, Pince Shore, just up the hill here in this delightful old village of Vilan Kuvesh. The Blum Janos Sulesh Boros. Well, you know what they say. When in Vilan Kuvesh. <sighs> well, here we have the Jiros uh, Kenya Lila Hajmaval, a glass of uh, Chardonnay Hosude Pesh. As we look over the beautiful row of cellars in Mezukuvest. This area right next to Vilan, it was settled in the 1730s by Schwabians, Swabish, the Schwabok, the Germans who have left their imprint all over the region, a mixed Hungarian and German district. But no matter what nationality you may be, you must agree that it is gorgeous, authentic, historical. And now we shall tuck in to some traditional fare. The Jirosh Kenyer, fatty bread, paprika dust, purple onion. Yo, wait, Padias. Yes. So you can go all the way from this Blum Pinza on the third floor down to the first floor through the cellar. Three rows of Pinza, Finchy Jir. And now we head further onwards on our tour towards. Paul Konya. Look at the hot you. So peaceful. 
All right, so we're heading to the uh, Mokos Pincezet. You can see the church, the old Jami up on the hill. Paul Konya. Whew. So peacefully situated here on the border of Croatia, Varanja Medja. You can hear the gentle brekeke, 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 of the beka, the frogs, and the slope of the hill, and the sun coming out. Oh yes, oh yes. I'm here to show you the very best. All right, well here is the signature wine of the Mokos. It is the uh, Medj, the Medj board, sour cherry, very uh, sweet. Mm. It's a taste. Well, here we are at the famous Palkonia Templum. It's actually not a former mosque. Funnily enough, it was built after the Turk era but it adopts many of the same style elements from the converted jami, the converted mosques that are scattered in Baranya Medya, including in Pech. This one, I think it was built in 1816, Ezer Njotsas Tizen And it provides a beautiful bookend to this wonderful town of Palkonia. Hello, Cirke, Cirke, Cirke. So we're here at the Triflafater in Palkonha. Nem Palkonha, the Palkonia. But they provide truffles for many of the Konha in the area and in Hungary. What do they do? They hunt truffles with their award-winning dogs. And what a garden. What a lovely, lovely garden this is. In the Vilan Borvidek. Oh yes, the lights, the sun, the nyar. It's been fantastic. And we still have a little wee bit left before all is said and done. <laughs> Love this place. Trifla <laughs> Kostelohas. Well, 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 we are here at the final vineyard of the day, the Vilian Vineyard. The golden hour quickly approaches. They call this the Dobagu. Dulu, or rather the Dobago Dulu. Dobago, it's like heartbeat. I guess I get there. I guess I get there. Wow. This garden is incredible. It's nice to warm up a bit as the cool air sets in. Villan. Villan Ban. Well, we've taken one last emergency sunset stop here at the Shiklo Shivar, one of the most historical castles in all of Hungary. Unfortunately, Zarva, we've gotten here a little bit late in the day, <laughs> tad bit too much wine. But as we sit atop the castle wall and watch the sunset, the Naplamente, we can reflect on a truly Magnificent journey through Baranya Medja. A Medja which I shall come back to many more times in the future. Oh yes. Fare thee well. Fare thee well. Thank you to R73 Residences for providing me with a terrific stay. This is the place in Pech. Egeshek. <sighs> well, we've got a train to catch, but I also want to show you this amazing gym that they have down here in the basement of the R73 residence. Perfectly located right in the center of Pech. A great base for your adventures in the city and beyond. Bar. Ranya Medjah.